Now, when you log in uh, to your course, this is what you should see. This is where you should come every time. I mean, as soon as you log in, hopefully this is what is appearing on your screen. Um, right here, you've got announcements. I don't have any announcements. Um, here is your days of the week. Today is Saturday. I'm doing this video on Saturday. Uh, what you can do with this is you can scroll and you can kind of see important dates when things are due normally. Um, you know, in this class we have three exams and then the final. So roughly you're going to have stuff due about every 12 days, you know, give or take, um, depending upon the difficulty. I try to give you more time at the end because um, those topics tend to be uh, difficult for students that aren't in uh, the electricity electronics program or industrial maintenance because they haven't been exposed to the terminology about circuits. Um, and sometimes that's a little overwhelming. It's not that you can't do the math, but oftentimes if you're not familiar with words, you know, they can get a little bit, uh, you know, overwhelming, like I say. Um, now, what I've kind of done is I've kind of, uh, you know, given you due dates for little bits at a time because we do have quizzes. We do have supplemental assignment if for the quiz. So, you know, basically you'll have work. You can take quizzes multiple times, I think up to three. If you want to take the third attempt, you have to make at least an 80 on the supplemental assignment. You don't have to do the supplemental assignment. Okay, now you may forget some of this stuff, and it's understandable, um, but, you know, that's for your third attempt. Okay, then you have to do this to be able to take the third attempt. Okay, so then, you know, we break things down. Here's your second quiz, all the topics, and then exam one. So, you know, these are all due on the 26th. I would probably have them done before the 26th because that only gives you a day to practice for your test, to review for your test. So, you know, that's just me, okay? I just try to space things out for you to help structure you somewhat. Um, but there are a lot of things that are due. So, you know, work ahead. That's my best uh, advice for you is to work ahead. And this kind of tells you what's due and what's next. So just take the pretest, but don't wait till the 21st, take the pretest because you've already, you're late on two assignments already. If you can see, I know you're saying, man, that's stupid, but that's just what I have to give you or I, uh, you're, you will be dropped from the class. So, you know, that's just, my pacing you, but I have to give you the 21st, but you need to start the pretest as soon as you finish this and get it done with. Uh, make sure you run your browser check. So make sure if you need to upload or download any, you know, Adobe stuff, Adobe stuff, you know, whatever, to make sure you can view everything. The How to Enter Answers tutorial, really good. I suggest you watch it so you understand where to get, if you got to do fractions, things like that, how to you know, where to access things like that, okay? Um, this will be your where you can keep track of your grades. So this is the course home and has a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> Obviously, you made it to the start here because you're watching the video. And here's your syllabus. Okay, so what, you know, right now we just changed our website. So most of these links are not good. They just take you to the same page. So if you're looking at this Monday morning, these links for the most part are not working. But hopefully I will have another syllabus uploaded with the correct links on it. Okay, should you need something like that. But, you know, all the other information is fine. Like my name, my mailbox, my phone number, you know, the summer assistant deans, things like that. Um, course materials, graphing calculator. Um, you don't have to have one, but you just need a scientific calculator for uh, that does uh, logarithms and uh, trigon trigonometry. So make sure it's got sine, cosine, tan on there, and that'll be fine. Um, you got to have reliable internet service. Okay, uh, you don't need a hard copy of the book if you want one. This is what you can look up, but I don't even know if it's even being printed. Class policies. There's the pretest information. Okay. Um, 
you, you need to be logging in, you know, often. So try not to, you know, wait to the last minute to do things, you know, try to get in there every day and do something or every other day and do something. All right, here's the thing about your homework and quizzes. There's 10% of your grade to homework. Quizzes are another 10%. You can be taken three times. Supplemental instruction is that uh, supplement for each quiz. If you want to take it the third time, you need to make 80 on it. So make sure you read through here. We've got three exams. Final exam is the fourth. Here's the breakdown. Final must be proctored. I have due dates at the end of this syllabus and in a due dates document. Um, you know, I will allow one retake if you have technical difficulties. Um, so just make sure you're ready. Once you click on that test, it's go time. I review all exams for mistakes, rounding mistakes, things like that. So don't no need to ask me. I review them because if everybody asked me, I'd be getting a thousand emails. So that's why. Um, you know, so I will review them. No need to worry about that. Here's your time expectations, the My Math Lab, things like that. Um, and here's their information about the proctored exams. It's our my division's policy, so I really, you know, nothing I can do about it. You have to find a way to have it proctored, the final exam. So you can either, you know, go to a proctoring center. That's one option. Another option is to use Proctor U, uh, and I'll talk about all that here shortly. So here's your late work. Anything past the due date on homework will be uh, subject to a 10% penalty. So you, I don't need to extend your homework. You can work your homework past the due date. You can work it as often as you want. The problem is if it's past the due date, it's going to be penalized um, or subject to a penalty. If you miss an exam, I'll give you one extension. So just let me know. After one, though, you better have a some sort of doctor's excuse or something like that. Same thing with the incomplete. I have to have proof that there's something um, wrong, like, you know, hospitalization, things like that. Um, and then, you know, I determine if there is a reasonable possibility that you can pass. You know, I mean, if you have a 40 average, you're not getting incomplete because there's not a reasonable possibility that you can still pass. All right. But hopefully nothing like that happens to you, but there's always a chance. Uh, here's the withdrawal policy. Uh, again, these links are not working right now. They're taking everybody to the same pace. So I've got to fix all these links. Lucky me. Um, and I will do that Monday morning to the afternoon. So again, if you're watching this video early Monday they're probably not fixed yet all right and so read through this all accommodations if you need that you need to get accommodations I can't give you one without they going through the proper channels and here's your course outline these are the chapters that these topics come from these are the due dates now it doesn't mean you know the worst mistake you can make and I've had students do this is go to chapter one start working everything don't do that I mean that's ridiculous because we may not even be covering everything in chapter one, okay? Um, we cover some chapters, but we'll pick a topic out of it in one section and pick a topic out of it in another section, okay? So, but this is just where they come from. Doesn't mean that you have to go through and work each problem in the chapter. That's the wrong way to do this. This is just, if you need some help, this is where it's located in this specific chapter, okay? Um, and I'll talk more about that when I look at your homework. All right, so here we go. Here is my information. Again, I am really good about getting uh, email contact. I'm 24 hours. Very good at that. Sometimes on weekends, I may be out of contact. So, you know, be patient. Most of the time, I'm pretty good, but weekends are weekends. Or I may be out of town or something. Um, my office phone, but email is the best way to contact me. All right. If you need to see me, we don't have office hours in the summer. Um, but if you really need to see me, it's got to be during the day because uh, I don't think I can get in my office in the evening. And so, you know, just let me know. And we'll try to work something out. So here's the information about the proctored exam. Um, so if you ask questions, I'm just going to refer you to this. So make sure you read. Now, if you need affirmation, you know, fine. But don't say, well, who can proctor? It's right here. Okay, read. 
All right, you are an educated individual. You can read. That's why it's here. Um, again, if I didn't put this, then why should I answer your question? Then there's 60 other people that I, I have to answer the same question. So that's silly. So just read through this. Um, here is a link to BCTC Proctoring Center. Again, it may not even be we up. It ain't working either. So I will fix that. The KCTCS one is okay. So if you're not a BCTC student, you know, you can find, you know, what you need to do here. All right. Um, and Proctor U, that's if you have a webcam and you want to take your final exam at home, you can sign up through here, okay? Remember, I work at BCTC, okay? But it's going to cost you 20, 25 bucks. Um, but if you want to stay at home, that, that's your option. Now, here's your due dates document. It's the same document that I had um, on the end of my syllabus. You know, it just gives you stuff when things are due, all right? Uh, so print that. Uh, I would print that. Um, here's your tutoring information. Um, you know, it's probably not updated yet. Hopefully it will be. But right here is your class notes and videos. Um, so again, you know, we got sometimes duplicate information, but sometimes we need that. Um, what we have are videos and oftentimes examples of all the topics in your homework. Now, these things that have a line through them means you can't see them, so don't worry about these, okay? Um, but if you look at the topics on your homework, you know, they have videos and examples. So watch them, all right? Now, I don't make all of them. Some of them were made by someone else that did this course, so I figured, you know, why reinvent the wheel? Some of them are mine. Some of them are someone else's. But watch these because they are going to help you, okay? Don't just sit there and take, you know, uh, quizzes and tests and do homework if you're stuck on something and fail it when these might help you. So those are your class notes and videos. And again, you know, they have and we have for every homework section, there's a video and some sort of an example. Um, here's where your homework is located. And, you know, I haven't done the pretest yet, but you have to before you can start the assignment. Now, let me show you something here. Now, I can continue because I'm the instructor. Um, but in your homework, if you get stuck on something, there's question help. So you can do the help me solve this, and it'll take you through steps to help you solve it. But then you'll have to still work another one. Uh, there's view an example, which will give you a similar type problem on how to do it. And then it connects you to textbook videos. Not my videos, but textbook videos. It'll connect you to the textbook section it comes from. Or if you want to ask me, you click this. And then you're going to type in what you're having trouble with, and it's going to come to my email, and I can respond to you. Okay? So, you know, use that if you get stuck. Um, but try to give me more than I just don't get it, all right? That, to me, tells me you really didn't do anything. You know, I got stuck here, or I got this answer, why, and then I can give you more help. But the old, I don't get it, you know, that just means you didn't try it. Um, so, you know, try something, and then send me a question, because I do want to help you, and I will help you. But you have to help yourself. That's, that's the main thing. All right, so let me leave out of there. Um, and you have another section for quizzes and exams. But the thing about uh, what you can always just go up here and just do all assignments. And it's going to line out everything right in order for you. Everything's in order. Okay. Best thing to me is to just start with the pretest, take it, and then go to scientific notation and units. If it looks tough, then you go to your videos and watch your videos. Okay. I don't link them in the problem set itself because then that kind of makes everything change for my settings so but they're here okay they're here know where to find them um, study plan that's just something I really don't use but if you want to work more problems on your own um, you can the problem is you know we kind of jump around so much that it may be hard to do figure out which uh, problem number you, you want to do but you can always go through the book um, here's your grade book Right now, you know, I've done one homework and I haven't completed it, but see, I can review 
And when you click your review, it allows you to go back in and redo what you missed. So that's how you can make good grades on your homework is you can rework homework as many times as you'd like to get what grades you want. You gotta try to do what I can. I don't do extra credit, but I try to do what I can to help you be successful. And to me, that's what you gotta do. You just gotta work. All right, so here's the how to drop the class. And again, I'm gonna be fixing these some of these links here, but uh, you know, this will take you to where you need to go once I fix it. Uh, here's the book itself. So your chapter content. So chapter one, you know, uh, oftentimes you may have to go to the glossary to figure out um, where things are. They so meant to go to your table of contents if you're looking for a certain topic in the book. But probably what's best is um, from the homework itself. Um, Oftentimes they have links based on it, but you can go to section 1.1 and sometimes it takes a while to load up. That's the problem, depending on your speed. And then here it is. So this, you know, you can do your contents, chapter one, and then you can figure out, okay, I need scientific notation. Let me go to the scientific notation section and read up on it, okay? Um, so that's your book. Mm -hmm. Multimedia library is where you can find other videos again, but they sometimes are in the homework section itself. So you really don't need this. Other animation could be PowerPoints, things like that. But you can pick what chapter you want, what section you want, and then you can select all and see what you got available. So, and these are not our videos, these are the textbooks. So, you know, it gives you another, you know, option for uh, help. So, you know, take advantage of everything. But my advice to you is to get busy. I'll be sending you out reminders. Read your email. I've talked about this already. Check your email so you know when things are coming, so you don't get caught off guard, okay? Um... Now, in the course tools, one last thing, there is email, but you can email me through the question box, but you can also go through here to email me, all right? So anyway, so that's it. Um, hopefully, it wasn't too painful, but I do believe that, you know, it's very important, um, and I'm hoping that everyone has watched this video, but I'll know. I'll know if you've watched it or not. Not that you may care, but I'll know. So anyway, so good luck. Get busy. If you got to get stuck on something, have questions, just shoot me an email. So we'll be uh, in touch uh, and good luck to you.